Hello, my friends. Welcome back to your mats. Before we get started with anything else, I want us all to take three deep breaths together. So here we go. Inhale through the nose, fill it all the way up. Exhale through the mouth. Let it all go. Two more times. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Last time, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good job. Chances are, if you have picked this class, you might be having a rough day. We all have off days. Maybe there's something weighing on your mind or your heart. Maybe there's something going on at your job, in your home, in the world that is causing you to just feel a little bit down. And I don't want this class to take those feelings away necessarily or distract you from those feelings, but rather help you move through them. So I want you all right now to give yourself permission to feel whatever you feel throughout this class, to allow emotions and sensations to rise up in you and move through them. So not just push them aside. And that might mean in a specific pose, you feel tears start to well up in your eyes, or you might feel anger or frustration. And rather than thinking those are a bad thing, I want you to just kind of experiment with those feelings and understand them and question them and move through them. So this class is going to be getting into the hips, into our hearts a little bit, our spine, so all these places in the body that sometimes get a little bit stuck and closed off. And when we start to move into those spaces and open them up, they can bring up responses physically in our body um, you know, where we might have tears and sob, or we might feel anger and frustration, and those are all okay. I want you to move through those things. So before we begin, if you need to pause this video, I want you to get everything that you need to feel comfortable, whether that's a certain space in your house that you want to practice in, maybe a cozy outfit. I have my cup of tea on me. Maybe you want to go get a cup of tea or light some candles or diffuse some oils, put on some soft music. Definitely grab two blocks and a strap just in case. And I will meet you guys right back here on your mats to begin today's practice. All right, my friends, whenever you have made it back to your mats, begin in a seat with the knees bent, feet far out in front of you and we're gonna work our way down onto our back. So kind of scooch to a place where you're in the middle of your mat and then slowly uncurl all the way down onto your backs. Keep the knees bent here, walk the feet in towards you a bit and then heel toe the feet together. From this place, you'll gently allow the knees to just fall down to either side of the mat. And once the knees start to come down, you may need to adjust where the feet are at so you can push them further away from the body. Or if you're feeling like you want more of an intense stretch in the hips, you can bring the feet closer in. I just encourage you to start in a gentle place though. So nowhere where you're shocking the body into this big stretch. So coming into this reclined bound angle pose, allowing the hips to gently start to open up and you can keep the eyes open here or if you'd like to close them to just kind of tune into your body better you can also do that it's totally up to you and then gently take one palm and then the other and place it just below or maybe on top of your hip bones so almost just above your groin area just feeling into that lower abdomen hip area. I'm beginning to do a body scan here. Start to observe any places where you feel naturally tight or tense. Notice anything that you are holding on to, whether that is 
emotionally or mentally that's maybe surfacing physically. So lots of times when we're having a rough day or we feel stressed or have anxiety, it physically surfaces in our body. So as you start to do this body scan, just pay attention, really become an observer of your own body, start to notice where any of those feelings are surfacing for you. Begin to tap into the breath if you haven't already. So finding those equal inhales and exhales. In and out of the nose, maybe in and out of the mouth, whatever feels best for you, whatever serves your practice. Take the next few moments to just breathe and observe. The mind has drifted off at all. Bring it back to the breath. Bring it back to the body. Notice if you felt any softness that wasn't there even a few moments ago. Notice if any spaces have started to open and release. And then pay attention to any areas that haven't, that are still clinging on to tension and see what you can do to soften and melt into those spaces. If the eyes are closed, gently start to flutter them open. Bring the palms on the outer edges of the knees and just start to gently assist those legs back up. Knees staying bent. Slowly bring one knee in towards your chest and then the other. Hands to the shins. And just begin to make small circles with the knees. So moving in whatever direction feels best for your body will end up going both ways. So it doesn't really matter which way you want to start. Normally, it's the way that feels most natural to us. So begin just by drawing these tiny circles with the knees. And as it starts to feel better, maybe allowing the circles to become bigger. Massaging out the low back here. Massaging out those internal organs. This always feels very comforting to me. The circles don't serve you. You can always just hug your knees into your chest too. Maybe gently rock side to side. Again, all of these poses and stretches are merely suggestions. So if something doesn't feel good, please do what feels best in your practice, what your body is craving. Wherever you're at with these circles, bring it back to center and then start to move the other way. So small circles to begin, and then as your body feels more open to it, allowing those circles to become bigger. Checking back in with that breath. 
allowing yourself to feel through anything, remembering you are in a safe space. You are loved and supported. And then gently bringing the knees back to center once again. Just extend the legs up a little bit, reach the hands behind the thighs, and then start to create little rocks front to back. So moving up and down the spine, almost like you're rock and rolling to the front of the mat. Take your time here. And it can be a quicker rock or you can do a slow rock. Eventually working your way up into an easy seat. So crossing the legs at the ankles or the shins out in front of you, finding yourself in this cross-legged position, maybe rock back and forth a few times so you can really ground down into the sit bones, feel, feel the mat and the ground beneath you just kind of rising up to meet you where you're at. Settle in for a moment. Find that length in the spine, so from the tailbone all the way up the spine, sending that energy out of the crown of the head. On an inhale, bring the left fingertips or palm to the ground beside you. Right arm sweeps up, and as you exhale, nice big side bend. Send that right hand over to the left side. And I want you to feel the stretch through the whole side seam of the body. So from that right sit bone, all the way up the outer edge of the hip, the side body, maybe even through the armpit. Feel that stretch through the right side of the body, just kind of cracking you open a bit. This is a really great place. You can utilize one of your blocks too. If you'd like to rest your left forearm on a block, kind of find that it helps me support myself a bit more in this posture. And so reach out with those right fingertips, like you're reaching for something across the room. And then release that reach, bend into the left elbow, allow the right fingertips to just dangle and drop the gaze down towards the mat. So see if you notice any subtle differences in how that changed the stretch for you. Just going from a more active stretch to a more passive stretch. Coming back to those equal inhales and exhales. Inhale, slowly rise back up. Allow the right fingertips or palm to come down to the ground and we'll move to the other side. So if you used a block, bring that block over to the right side so it's all ready for you. Inhale, sweep that left arm up. And as you exhale, big bend over, left fingertips reach towards the right side of the room. So allowing the stretch to begin all the way down in your left sit bone, keep grounding down through the left sit bone. Feel that stretch all the way up through the hip, the side body, maybe even through the armpit. And nice and activated here first. So reach out with those left fingertips like you're reaching for something on the other side of the room. See how long you can get in the side of the body. Check back in with the breath. Notice if you're holding it or experiencing any tension anywhere. See where you can soften into those spaces. Allow yourself to move through any feelings. And then on your next exhale, bend into that left elbow. Allow the left fingertips to just kind of go limp and dangle. And then drop the gaze down towards the floor. Notice any changes in the stretch here, any new sensations. And check in with what your face is doing. Notice if you're holding any tension in between the eyebrows or maybe clenching the jaw. See where you can let go. And on your next inhale, gently rise back up. Go ahead and move the block out of the way. Hands can come down to the sides and we'll just open up the heart a little bit here. So bringing the hands behind you, fingertips facing out to the side. 
begin to just open up through the collarbones. So draw the collarbones right to left, really broadening through the chest, pull the shoulder blades back towards one another. So squeezing those shoulder blades in towards one another. And you can stay here with the chin in towards the chest and just feel that expansion through your heart space. Or if it feels good in your body, begin to drop the head back maybe opening up to the throat. And the throat really holds a lot of emotion for some people. So if you feel yourself starting to experience any new emotions or sensations rise up, just see if you can ride that wave. Be gentle with yourself. And if you'd like to take this a little further, you can even start to drive the hips up towards the sky, rising up onto the shins and the knees. And wherever you are, holding this for three, two, and one. Good, gently lower it back down, pull the chin back and towards the chest, finding yourself back in that seated position. Hands come out in front of you, we'll roll over onto hands and knees. So coming into our tabletop position, spreading the fingers nice and wide, shoulders stacked over the wrist. Do another body scan here, check back in with yourself. Always checking in throughout this practice, especially on a day like today, if you're experiencing, you know, any extra overflow of emotions, constantly checking back in with yourself throughout this practice. On an exhale, drop the belly down towards the ground and begin to send the hips back. So bum towards the heels. On an inhale, begin to round through the spine, push the ground away as you rise back up into that tabletop position. Good, exhale, drop the belly down, send the bum back towards the heels. Inhale, round through the back as you draw yourself back up. Good, exhale, send it back. Inhale, ride that way forward. So just creating a little bit of movement in the spine. Exhale, sending it back. Inhale. Pulling yourself back up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Three more times at your own pace. Just move with your breath. Maybe even close your eyes. Really get into your body moving through that spinal wave and also any energetic waves of emotions or feelings, allowing yourself to just ride through it, move through it. Let these movements in this practice just kind of heal you from the inside out. And then find yourself back in that tabletop position, no rush to get there. Begin to walk the hands back towards the knees and then we'll rise up into a kneeling position. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, begin to bow forward, send the arms long behind you and bring the bum down towards the heels, forehead down towards the floor. So ending in this narrow child's pose position, and then begin to reverse that motion. Inhale, start to rise up. Draw yourself back up to kneeling. Arms sweep overhead. Good, exhale, bow forward. Bring yourself all the way back down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise. Exhale. 
exhale bow. Beautiful job, my friends. Inhale, rise. I am light. Exhale, bow. I am worthy. Inhale, I am loved. Exhale, I am worthy. Two more times on your own. Repeating that mantra in your head or anything else that feels good in this moment. Allow your breath, whatever words you're speaking to yourself to be healing, to be soothing. And we will all meet back in that narrow child's pose. So finishing on the exhale with the forehead down to the ground. Begin to send the hands out in front of you. Spread the fingers nice and wide. On an inhale, pull yourself up to that tabletop, hands and knees position. Exhale, tuck the toes nice and slowly like you're moving through molasses. Lift the knees off the floor. Push the hips back and up, downward facing dog. If this is your first downward dog of the day, you may be kind of feeling into the backs of the legs, the calves. Take the moment, the time to do another body scan here. Notice any new sensations as we transition from one pose to the next that are rising up in you right now. And try not to push down anything you are experiencing, but move through it. Breathe through it. We say that all the time, breathe through it, but really try to consciously send your breath into any areas, physically or emotionally, where you feel a tightness, a heaviness. Send the breath there. On an inhale, begin to lift that right leg up and behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, shift the gaze forward, step the right foot on the outside edge of the right hand. So pausing here for a moment, keeping that back knee lifted, start to create a little bit of movement. And I say movement very vaguely because I want you to decide what that is. And that might be circles with the hips. That might be front to back. Maybe you lengthen out that right hamstring a little bit. That might be pulses up and down with the hips. So kind of just really tune into your body. This is your chance to close your eyes if you want to check in with the body, see what it's asking for. Take the next few breaths to just move freely. Starting to create some movement in the right hip. Find fluidity. Open up that right side of the body. And then gently begin to drop that back knee down. Untuck the toes and we'll settle into our lizard pose. So take both of your blocks. And I like to set them up on this middle height. And it feels really good in my body to bring my forearms down onto either block. I just bring my hands clasped together or in prayer position and just kind of settle in. And again, you might have to adjust the blocks or find a different position that feels good to you, but I really just want to take this moment to kind of settle into the hip area because they do hold, they store trauma. And you know, trauma doesn't have to mean that it's something you know, inherently life altering or really, really bad. It could just be trauma that you've experienced today. Just small little things that you are storing in your body that are now popping up as a physical representation of like tightness or tension. 
So I, that's why I want to take this moment to just get into our hips and allow yourself to feel anything that's rising up right now, anything that's surfacing. Don't push it back down. Just breathe your way through it. And we're all in this together. So I'm right here with you. You have a whole community who's also right here with you, practicing with you, breathing through this moment with you. Beautiful job, my friends. Take a few more breaths here. And then slowly bring one palm down to the mat and then the other. If you're not there already, remove the blocks off to the side of the mat. Heel toe that right foot into center. And then slowly walk yourself up into a low lunge. So palms can rest on that right thigh to begin. Just kind of settling into your low lunge here, drawing the right hip back, left hip forward. And then we're going to move into a little side bend. Place the right forearm on the right thigh, allowing it to just rest. Inhale, left arm sweeps up to the sky. And as you exhale, reach those left fingertips over to the right side of the room, just feeling a nice big stretch through the left side of the body. So we just felt a lot of sensation in that right hip. And now as we move over to the left side, just kind of notice any shifts in energy or new sensations that are rising up. Good. Inhale, bring it back up to center. Exhale, hands come down to frame that front foot. Tuck the back toes and lift the knee up. Send the right leg back three-legged dog. So bring it all the way up to the sky and then maybe bend into the knee, circle out that hip and notice an energetic difference between the right and the left side of the body. Exhale, release the right foot down, other side. Inhale, left leg lifts. As you exhale, start to shift the gaze forward, step the left foot up, just outside that left hand. Keep the back knee lifted, and we'll begin to take those intuitive movements again. So finding whatever feels good here, whether that's hip circles, pulses, moving front to back, taking the next four to five breaths to just kind of tap into what your body is asking for, what it's craving. Noticing any difference in sides. So just kind of recognizing that we're very asymmetrical beings and this left side will probably feel completely different than the right. On your next exhale, drop that back knee down to the ground, untuck the toes. Go ahead and grab your blocks if you need them or use them on the other side. Go ahead and set yourself up to be here for the next little bit. So wherever that is for you, 
settling into your lizard pose. Again, allowing yourself to kind of surf the wave of emotions here. So maybe, maybe that's not a lot of emotion for you. Maybe it's all of the emotions. But becoming an observer, so not judging, whatever, whatever is or isn't coming up for you, not holding any judgment for that, but just allowing it to be and being okay with just being, <laughs> you know? feel the mind start to wander off while we are here just bring it back to the breath I always find it helpful to count my inhales and exhales Notice where you can soften, check in with the space between the eyebrows, the jaw, check in with the top of the right thigh, maybe you can allow it to melt down towards the floor a little bit more. slowly start to rise up onto the palms if you aren't there already move the blocks out of the way heel toe that left foot in towards the center of the mat so hands are framing that foot and then walk your hands back in and rise up into a low lunge palms can come on the top of the left thigh for just a moment Settle in here, drawing that right hip forward, left hip back. And then left forearm comes to left thigh. Inhale, right arm sweeps up. Exhale, send the right fingertips over to the left. Find a nice big stretch through the right side of the body. So moving that energy from the left hip over into the right side seam of the body. Noticing those shifts and any sensations or energy. to release the hands down to frame that front foot tuck the back toes and lift the knee and then send the left leg all the way back and up three-legged dog bend into that left knee maybe take a few circles with the knee noticing how that left side feels and then exhale, bring the left foot down to the mat. Inhale, shift the gaze forward. Drop the knees wide on the mat, so about mat distance apart. And tuck the toes and bring the big toes together. Start to send the hips back. Reach the arms out in front of you. So finding yourself in child's pose. If the shoulder stretch feels like too much, you can always bend into the elbows, allow the fingers to meet in the middle, coming into more of a passive child's pose. And just take a moment here. Acknowledge 
change any emotions or feelings that are circulating through you right now, whether they are energetic or physical. Allow your exhales to soften into any areas that are still holding on to tension or tightness. Bringing you a sense of grounding and peace. On your next inhale, ground down through the palms. Begin to pull yourself back up onto hands and knees. Walk the knees in, cross the ankles behind you. Roll over onto your seat. And before we move into our final resting pose, if you have tea, if you need some water, maybe you brought some oils along with you. Do whatever you need to do to prepare yourself for a Shavasana. Maybe that's a blanket or a pillow. Hopefully you already have everything on you. Bring the feet out in front of you, knees bent. Just how we began, we're going to uncurl all the way down onto our backs. This time, spreading the legs out long, taking up lots of space. So all the space for anything that you are carrying with you today, holding on to, hopefully you have given yourself all the space throughout this practice to move through some of those feelings that you've been experiencing. And hopefully you also give yourself these next few minutes to really just marinate in what that practice meant to you and meant to your body. So letting go of any pattern or rhythm of breath that you were holding on to throughout that practice. Releasing any muscular activation. So allowing the body to become fully relaxed and heavy. Closing the eyes or keeping them open if that feels best in your body. begin to let go and take the next few moments to simply be.
them to deepen your breath. So allowing some inhales and exhales to bring the body back to life. Even if it takes some small movements, maybe with the fingers and the toes, bringing you back into this space and this present moment. And then slowly reach the arms overhead like you're stretching and waking up for the first time. Slowly bend into one knee and then the other. Keep the eyes closed and roll over onto one side of the body. It doesn't matter which side. Rest your head on your upper arm once you get there. Just being aware of this transition, any shift in energy that it may have caused. On your next exhale, keep the eyes closed. Press out of the palm of the hand. Rise up into an easy seat. So find a nice tall spine. Cross the ankles or shins in front of you. And then I want you to take your right hand to your left shoulder. Your left hand to your right shoulder. Almost like you're giving yourself a hug and then start to use your fingers. And I just want you to start to squeeze the shoulders. Just giving yourself a little bit of self-love and work the hands down the shoulders onto the upper arms, through the biceps and triceps, down through the forearms, just squeezing, maybe massaging a little bit. And then when you've made it down to the hands, take a hand to either side of your rib cage, maybe just as high as you can go under the armpit and start to send energy down the side of the body. So taking the heels of the hands, working your way down the side of the body until the thumbs make it all the way to your hip crease. Fingers running down the side of your legs. And when you've made it there, apply a little bit of pressure Press yourself down into the mat so feel really grounded and stable. And then same thing with the heel of the hands. Start to send the hands down towards the knees, massaging out the tops of the thighs, sending that energy out, and maybe doing that a few times. And then whenever you feel ready, bring the palms of the hands face down on the knees, finding this really beautiful grounding energy, knowing that you are safe, that you have everything you need inside of you to handle whatever life throws at you on a day-to-day -day basis. So we bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Bow the chin in towards the chest. And then gently begin to blink the eyes open. So allowing yourself to come back into your space. Hopefully feeling a little less rough than when you started this practice. My friends, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you all next time. Namaste.